Hi everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Jennifer's Lair. <laughs> I am just, I'm having so much fun doing videos and I really missed you guys and didn't really realize this till the last video. I did post one up, you guys. Um, I don't know if it has a picture or not, but of course the picture that I do see, I look totally retarded in. Thank you, YouTube! Because YouTube actually picked the picture. I didn't edit the video. I, as you know, and um, and if you're new here or whatever, I like to do things raw and uncut and unedited. So if I stumble upon a word, that's because in real life, I am just, you know, I'm sometimes I forget what I'm trying to say. Sometimes, you know, the words don't come out right. But, um... You know, as I get used to more and more talking to the camera, which I love doing, it's so much fun. And, um, you know, it's just kind of fun, you know, doing that. But uh, uh, before, I was not really that comfortable with the camera, and now it seems like I'm more comfortable. So, hi everybody! <laughs> I can be more myself. Um, I'm very happy. I'm a lot more happier than what I was a few months ago so there was some changes and we really can't I mean we really can't control some of these changes that was that was made so like you know we kind of have to roll with it so that's all I gotta say about that but I am back and I did a video so if you didn't uh, catch that video please go back and take a look at that video it's me chatting away, telling you what's going on or what had happened or whatever. It's not into great detail because, you know, it's kind of a personal thing. And the last thing, when someone's depressed, they want a camera in their face. So, but anyways, we're back today and I am going to do a haul. Uh, Killstaller haul. Um, this was kind of like my... Christmas gift or whatever so we're going to get into it and then I'm also going to open another package that I have got have received um I'm going to use these in a makeup tutorial so um and you guys can grit your teeth at me because I really don't know about certain things but we'll get into that later we're gonna get into this haul right now so here we go we're getting into the haul so I hope you guys have fun with this because I, you know, it's been a while since I've actually done a haul. So we are going to do this. This box here, though, is for the next video. So if you guys want to see what's in this box, stay tuned for the next video here on Jennifer's Lair. Self-promoting. Love it. <laughs> and I'm not ashamed. Because my channel's small, and I'm trying to make it bigger, and um, I'm going to... I don't know exactly how YouTube kind of works or whatever. I don't know if, like, you know, I'm, I haven't really, you know, I've gone through these spurts where I put videos up, and then I go without putting a video up, and so... Um, I'm sure that doesn't help my channel, but I'm not sure how to even go about you know, um, getting myself out there, if I'm marketing myself properly, things like that. So, since I'm fairly new to YouTube or whatever, hi to all the new and the old subscribers. Thank you so very much. You guys help me tons and lots of love to you. Thank you for your subscribing to my channel. Um, I'm going to try to put up a video every week or maybe try to even do more videos. Um, we'll have to see whatever um i have time for i'm gonna try to make it work so i hope that you guys will stay tuned because i'm trying to do my my channel i'm trying to do like try to space out hauls and with other things but like i said before in my last video hauls seem to be ranking way up there and that's where my channel's at is like every time I do a haul it's like zoop the views just go up I don't know if it's a YouTube thing or not but it's like crazy you know it's it just gets nuts it's like well you know that's where so then you want to do more videos to please your audience 
but um at the same time you're trying to do you know other videos so i hope you guys will stay tuned to my other videos i'm trying like so hard to make things work and i want to do a question and answer video because i feel like i want to get to know you guys and i want you guys to get to know me so i would love at the end of this video if you could please and thank you ahead of time i'd appreciate it greatly if you could just ask me some questions down below and i will try my best to answer them um and do like a question and answer video that was one of the things i really wanted to do for a little while now so hopefully i can do that otherwise i'll probably just get the questions from like a tagged video because there's other people that have done that type of thing too where you know they have questions you know just some random questions cute questions to answer so if i don't get enough questions in you know the questions for the q a then i could possibly do that as well so um i just think it would be kind of fun for you guys to get to know me and i'm hoping that if i answer the questions you guys could answer them back and let me know a little bit about you because um i really do want to get to know you guys as viewers um i'm just so excited about it but let's get into this haul now because you know it's here uh it's a kill star haul and i've got a few more hauls to do here and there and i'm also gonna do I kind of want to do a mug, uh, like, you know, my mugs or whatever, because a lot of people, like, I post pictures of my mugs. If you guys have ever been on the Gothic Inspiration, the group, you have seen that I have posted some pictures of my mugs, and people have asked me where I've gotten them or whatever, and so I was thinking maybe I would do that with my mugs and maybe some pillows, because I've got god knows i've got tons and tons of of throw pillows i have them in i have them in the jennifer's layer and like this room i should say and then i have them in our bedroom we have them downstairs in the living room um just a bunch of throw pillows so i kind of want to do a video on that let me know if you're interested on that and uh let me know what what you think but for right now let's get into this haul it's a kill star haul so we're gonna get into it and this was actually like my christmas present um from friends and family and all kinds of people because they actually um i got money instead of presents i got some money this year so i am gonna open this up uh, this box has been kind of sitting here for a little while because I haven't even opened it yet. And it's January. Also, by the way, my birthday was January, January 11th. Um, I didn't really do a whole lot for my birthday, but I still kind of had fun. I just stayed home and watched some movies with my husband and I'm yet to go out to eat, but the weather is really crappy here. Um, we're supposed to get a storm tomorrow, all oh, the joys. We're supposed to get like five to eight inches dumped on us and then one or three to, or wait, one to three inches or was it four inches uh, during the nighttime? So all oh, the joys. And we're supposed to get blizzard-like conditions because the wind is gonna pick up, so. All the joys. You never really get, I mean, I'm speaking just for myself, but you never really get used to the winter time. Let's not kid ourselves here. I am from Minnesota originally. I still live in a, a place where it gets cold and I'm still not used to the damn snow. I still hate it. <laughs> And if you hear any noises other than me opening the box, that's because I have three cats in my room right now. I have Raven, Charm, and Punky. And I don't know where Mooney went, but... Oh, now I see her. She's peeking outside the door in at me. So, and now we've got this. We've got some of this stuff here. And maybe I should show you the box so that you guys can see it. Because it's a bigger box. Uh, 
This is the Kill Star Hall box. All right, so let's start into this. Let's dig in. And of course, Mooney's coming now to check out the paper. <laughs> you little turkey. Okay, we there was a sale, you guys, so I just wanted to make it clear. There was a sale, so I got a lot of it off a lot of uh, stuff off for this haul. And this haul's been kind of sitting in my room for quite a while. So um, when I did uh, have the sale, or when they did have the sale, I took full advantage of it. So just to let everybody know there was a sale. So, um, so that's why. And here we go. Here's like the first piece. And then I got another little thing here. And then there's like a little skull thingy. It's cute. And of course, now you're going to hear Raven in my closet. <laughs> because she feels the need to go in my closet. And sometimes they knock a whole bunch of stuff out of my closet. Because I have like a lot of craft things in there. And then I also keep snacks up here for when I'm filming. And I have long days of filming sometimes or long nights. Or I have a TV in here too, so I have snacks in here to watch movies and television and things like that. And usually I'm watching Charmed. It's one of my favorite, favorite shows. Not the new one, the old one with Piper and Prue and Paige and Phoebe. I love that one better. I, I cannot get into the new one. Sorry, not sorry, people. I just, they should have did that a different way. I'm just kind of disappointed in that. Ooh, this is like really sticky. It's really sticky, guys. Oh, they put a film on it. Okay. It's really sticky. <laughs> it's a little... Okay, they call this a Luna necklace in silver. And I love crescent moons. I love moons. So when I saw this, I'm like, yes, please. <laughs> I love this. It's very, very pretty. And I'm thinking that I'm, I'm this is going to get a lot of use. I didn't think that it was going to be so big. And it came on like a little chain. And then there's even like a little film around this piece too. So that's kind of cool. And it says Kill Star on it. And of course, that's Raven again. She's getting into stuff. She's the black kitty of the kitties. So I'm sorry for the uh, interruption that she's going to. She's going to be making some noise for a little bit. And then we have. This is a new one. And I don't know where Mooney went. Mooney went somewhere too. Oh yeah, this is the, it says uh, Francis Ring Silver. And it's not spelled like my maiden name, guys. My maiden name was Francis, so. It's spelled F-R-A-N-C-E-S, not I. -S. Oh, this is super cool, guys. Oh, I love this ring. See, okay, my husband gave me a nice, a nice diamond ring, but I can't wear it because my fingers swelled up like they swell up and it gets stuck on me. So I ended up buying a ring like this. And yeah, it's like a $5 ring or whatever, but I think it's cool. It has like skulls and things on it. But if you notice here, um, this thing's been worn for like years now, like at least three years, maybe possibly, maybe even four years, but you can kind of see that it's wearing, it's wearing down and you can kind of see the copper on it and stuff. There's like some copper showing through. And I do have backup rings of these, but I figure, you know what? Um, I need to retire this one, even though I love it to death. I need to retire this one. 
and it's just it was a five dollar ring but this one here this is from Killstar and I got it on sale of course I really wanted a new ring so that I don't look so you know so I don't look so bad and it was a little bit more than five dollars but I really like this ring and I feel like it'll get a lot of use so this is gonna be my new ring my new marriage ring so I think that's really pretty and I love black I mean I wish that I could get like a real black one like a black diamond that would be totally me and you know there was thing like during our wedding or whatever and and it fits perfectly too and it's so beautiful I love this thing Ooh, I love it it's got skulls on the side I don't know if you guys can see it but it's got some skulls and then it's got like it's a cameo type of thing Ooh, it's so pretty beautiful from Killstar guys when they have their sales you need to take advantage of their sales because their sales are amazing a lot of times you can find some really cool stuff and now I can retire this thing which is awesome so I will just put that wrap it up and put that in my little cup holder because I have a cup holder next to me so that we can continue on the haul now guys this is gonna be kind of a smaller haul so it's not gonna be like a huge haul or anything but I figured you know what I have it I will share it with you guys and that's that so I love these things I collect the stickers I don't know if any of you guys out there collect these stickers but I just love the stickers so I collect I try to collect all of the stickers that they have in their little bundle things and they're not even that much um, and they're like they they have like pack six pack seven and this one is pack four and I think I have like two I don't remember if I have one or not because I think I missed them and they're not they don't carry it anymore but I, I love the unicorn. I mean, who in the world wouldn't love this unicorn skeleton? I love unicorns. I love cats and unicorns and horses. They're like my favorite things. And then like to have like this. I mean, this is really cool. And it comes with, I think there's like, I can't remember how many stickers. Maybe five stickers or something. But these are all awesome, so I will find some good use for these. So I'm excited about those. Oh, yay! Okay, guys, you know, I have an, I have a problem. Shh, don't say, don't like, don't even, uh, shh, you didn't hear me say that. But I have a huge problem when it comes to throw pillows. There's just too many cute ones out there. <laughs> I cannot get enough of throw pillows. So, and these ones are going to stay in here because I'm probably going to redo the back of this couch. And what you see for throw pillows. I mean, they'll still be in here, but they won't be seen as much. So, um, but, you know, when it comes to throw pillows... And it comes to like, you know, like fashion little pillows and stuff like that. Killstar has like by far the most awesomest uh, pillows ever. So, um, without further, without further, uh, and then it also says, well, I took it out of the bag, but it says Killstar on the bag. And this, I had to have this because, you know what? The crescent moon and a kitty. I love kitties. I love crescent moons. And I love the kitty with the little upside down moon. Crescent moon on him. And I love crescent moons. I'm like into all of that right now. So, And I love cats. Like, I am 
crazy for cats. I love cats. They're like my favorite, one of my favorite animals. I think other than cats, I love horses. And then, I don't know, I really love koalas lately too. And by the way, I mean, um, the koalas, you know, speaking of koalas, we're going to get off course here, but... The koalas in Australia, it was really sad and heartbreaking. Some of the things that are going on in Australia, like with the fires and everything. And I'm glad that they're finally getting rain. I have some friends that live in Australia and it's just heartbreaking what's been going on there. So if you can, take some time and donate. Um, you know, donate your funds to the uh, World Wildlife Fund Foundation or fund because they will you know that goes towards like you can do a koala you can adopt a koala or adopt a kangaroo or you know a wombat or bats or like any you know australian animal because they're they need the help right now so please try to donate if you can um it would mean a lot to me and the animals um, I say thank you in advance because um, it just really kills me. Some of that video and stuff, it's so heartbreaking. Like, it brings tears to my eyes. I, wa I really wanted to go over there and, like, do something for them. But I don't really know what, you know, what to do, you know. But I would really, I would have really loved to go over there and help the animals. Because they are in such pain right now and they need people to help them and, you know, to, you know, for the babies, they need nursing and stuff like that. I mean, I, my heart it just goes out to all the animals and things and the people as well. So, um, so I wish you uh, love and hugs and prayers to Australia, to all the animals and people over there. Especially the animals, the one billion, over one billion animals have been lost there. It That's just heartbreaking to me. It's just, it's really, it makes me want to cry. Alright, and here is one of the next things that I got. And we will take this out. This is um the throw pillow, the unicorn skeleton. Which, okay, I I wanted all three because there's a three, there's actually three in the set. But they're not really a set set, you know. They're, you have to buy them separate. Um, this one was one of them too as well that goes in the set. And this is from Killstar, guys. But this is uh, the kitty one, which I already got. I got that one a long time ago. And you guys, if you guys haven't seen that haul that includes that, go back and check out some of my Killstar hauls because it's in there. Um, but anyways, this is cute. I always wanted this one. I love unicorns. Like I said, I love unicorns. So it's like I have to have it. And it's a creepy unicorn, so it's even better um, it's just like, it, they, they are so soft. Even that pillow, this pillow here was really soft too. They're all just so soft. And, um, if you can find a sale, get them when they're on sale because you can make, you can have like, get more for your money. And I'm all about stretching those dollars and making, you know, to make, to get more. So you can get more for your money. <laughs> But, oh, it's so soft. Merry Christmas to me and happy birthday to me. <laughs> and yes, I turned 40 again. I am not aging. After the age of 40, I am not aging anymore, guys. So I'm just saying I'm 40 every year up to this point. Because otherwise, I mean, who wants to say that they're like, you know, older? You know, I don't want to be... I don't want the older, you know, I don't want to be old. I want to be young still. So, and I feel old enough as it is. <laughs> so, I don't need any more of that. And then, we got this little guy. This is the third one. 
out of the, um, it's a little baggy guy. Let's open him up. Um, this is the third pillow that they have. I think they call that Victor on there. And then they have the unicorn skeleton. Um, it's under pillows on, on Killstar. So if you guys haven't, you know, check them out, check Killstar out. They have a lot of good stuff. And, um, and I like the, the, the lifestyle stuff, you know, they have like a lot of different things. They have journals, they have pillows, they have uh, blankets, they have all kinds of stuff. And even during Christmas time, they have like little bat like ornaments and they have ornaments in general, which I love like the skull, um, crescent moon ones, but they don't have them anywhere. And they call them Hexmas instead of Christmas. But look at this little guy. Isn't he cute? My little bat friend. I really love bats, too. Bats are, like, one of my favorite animals. I don't know why I didn't remember bats. Bats are very cute, especially fruit ones. I love the little fruit ones. They look, like, so... They're just so cute. I just want to, like, grab them and pet them and be like, Okay, I'll give you some fruit. <laughs> they are super cute. And this is Victor, I guess. But I am going to name him Ozzy because I love Ozzy Osbourne. So he is just too cool. He's like still touring and everything. And like, I just, I like him a lot. I think he's cool as hell. So I'm naming him Ozzy after Ozzy Osbourne. He's so cute. And he's very soft too. So, you know... There's three pillows, so you've got your unicorn one, you've got Victor the bat, which I'm naming Ozzy, and then you've also got the kitty one, which I haven't named the kitty one yet. I just think it's cute. Maybe I'll name it Sage, the kitty one, because I like that name for kitty. And I love burning sage. Sage smells so good, you guys. I don't know if you guys have ever done it, but oh, it smells so good. And it's very magical. Okay, let's see what else we've got in here. Oh, yes. We have got this. This is new for Killstar. They didn't have this last year. They haven't had this for um, very long, I don't really think. Sometimes I check their website and since and sometimes I don't. It just depends. I haven't really been on it since like Halloween time or whatever it was in October and then I checked it in December. Oh, excuse me. And they have and they had this. So This is going to be so cool. Welcome to my crypt, it says, and it says Killstar on it. Very cool, and I'm loving this. I'm going to love this for my rug. I'm not going to put it in here, though. I'm probably going to put it downstairs. I just hope that it doesn't get all messed up. Because it, it is like, it's not like a normal rug. Ooh, I don't want to rip this too much, but I am. <laughs> I'm trying to get it out so you guys can see it, but I am where did I put my scissors? Yeah, where did I put my scissors? <laughs> scissors. Oh, there it is. My purple trusty handed scissors. Woohoo! Let's just cut this. Here we are. It This thing is really, it's kind of heavy. Whoops, I'm sorry guys. I'm going to have to stop for a second there. Okay. Whoops, and now it's getting stuck in my hair. <laughs> the pieces are all over the place. Okay. Whoops, I still got one piece stuck in my hair. I don't want that in my hair. Oh, wait, there's one on here. 
There's a piece on there. Okay, guys. This is a welcome mat. And I just think this is the cutest thing ever. It's a bat welcome mat. And it's really, I mean, this is definitely a different type of material. It's not like a, a normal welcome mat. And since there's white on it, I'm going to have to be very careful where I put this thing. Because, well, we have kids going in and out of this house all the time. So, and they're boys. They're not going to, like, wipe their feet. They're going to wipe it on this. And no offense to them, but I just don't want this ruined. So, it's just so cute, though. I really want to put it somewhere nice. So everyone can see it, but I don't know. It's a welcome mat, and I love it. It's a baddie. It's got the crescent moon again. I love this. This is too cute. I don't know. Maybe I'll put it in the bedroom or something. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put it. But for right now, and on the back of it, you guys, it's got some grippy stuff. So if you do put it on a hardwood floor or whatever, I don't think it's going to move around very much because this is like really grippy rubber on the back side. So if you guys are thinking about getting that, this rug, I would suggest it because it's really cool. It's very nice. I love it. And this, this is a surprise to me. I'm not sure what's in here. And this will, yeah. Let me just see if I can get this open. Yay. I'm so excited. Yeah, I love shopping at Killstar. Killstar is a really nice place to shop. When you have, when, if you have money. But this stuff was given to me by friends and family. So thank you guys again for doing this for me. Because... Without you guys, I wouldn't have had a Christmas or a birthday. Well, I would have, but it just, it's special to be able to do this. <laughs> All right, so we're opening the box for the very first time. And this, I think I know what this is if I remember right. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Okay. And this, I'm going to have to, like, figure out a place for this because, well, our cats like to jump on everything. And let's just say this thing is highly breakable. And I don't want it broken by the cats because it is... This thing is just awesome. And you're probably going to hear some more noise from the closet. Because I think there's a cat in there. <laughs> Alright. Well, this is it, guys. Skulls of my enemies. <laughs> Isn't this cool, guys? Look at that detail in that. Isn't that cool? There's a lot of detail. This thing is really heavy and it's really breakable. It's not a vinyl or anything. It's more like a ceramic thing. So you got to be careful. Isn't this neat? I think this thing is badass. I love it. Has me written all over it. And I might even try to put it in here because over on this table here in the back of me, I have my little altar thing, my pagan altar thing. So I may have to put this on somewhere close to that. This thing is super cool. It's big too, guys. I mean, look at how big this is. It's like a human head skull. That's how big this is. So if you do find sales, I suggest you get them and use coupon codes and things like that because that will help you out a lot 
like tons on this site because yeah the prices are a little more expensive but if you wait until you get the sales then um, they won't be as bad so I suggest you do that or whatever if you want like you know to get more for your money and stuff because I love stretching my money out and stuff like that I am gonna set you right here for right now there we go <laughs> Okay, so you guys, this wraps up the Killstar haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry it was just like a little small video, but if you want to see what's in this box, then stay tuned to Jennifer's Lair, and you will find out on the next video. Um, also, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to hit the like and comment and subscribe buttons and it, don't forget to hit the little bell because that'll give you notifications when I upload a new video. So until next time, oh also before I forget because I always forget this, but if you haven't already, please join the group on Facebook, the Gothic Inspiration. You will find me there. I haven't posted as much as I normally do because I just need a rest. It's not because I ran out of material, because trust me, I haven't ran out of material. It's just that I am just, you know, I kind of need a break. You know, people, I, I was posting like 15 things per day in there, and I just, I need a break. So, I don't know if I'll ever go back to posting 15 things in there, but other people are posting as well. And it is fine if you want to post, like, if you have an Etsy shop or whatever, if it's gothic related, then you can post uh, your shop on there. And I don't have a problem with that. Our group, though, will not be res held responsible for any bad sales. So that's on you guys. If you order something and the person doesn't want to send it to you or whatever, that's on you guys to try to figure out between you and the seller or you know you were you as the buyer and the seller so i hope that you know all the transactions go well but we're not responsible for any transactions on there also if you're an artist or whatever and you have like you know you're selling things on ebay or if you're selling things or whatever and it and it goes with the gothic inspiration if it's gothic then you guys are more than welcome to post that stuff as well. If you guys are selling stuff on Facebook or whatever, you guys can post that in there too. I don't have any problems, but make sure they're within the guidelines because there are some rules in there or whatever, and just make sure that they're within the guard, the guidelines that are provided for everyone's you know, safety, sanity, and whatever else comes with it. And you guys, and I want to say hi to all the people right now that are in the group. Hi, guys. Um, it's only, it's almost been two years since, since I, since me and someone else have created the group. So it's pretty awesome. Um, so it's cool. We're at 3,000 right now, over 3,000 members. So we're doing really good. And so I'm excited about that. And there's other people posting other than myself. So that's awesome. You guys keep up the good work. Keep posting. Um, I want to see what inspires you. And I'm sure others do too. And we want to all just get inspired, which is awesome. And so I'm hoping that if you guys, if that sounds like something you might like, for darkly inclined people, please join us at the Gothic Inspiration on Facebook page. Um, that's where you'll find me. But anyways, before this video gets longer and longer, please uh, please make a comment down below if you want any questions uh, asked and, and for me to answer the questions. So if you want to ask me any questions, please put them down below in the comments. I would really appreciate it because I'd like to do a question and answer video and um, with you guys and I'd like to get to know you guys and I would like for you guys to get to know me better and 
it's just a different type of video for this channel, which I need to do. So I want, um, I'm looking for ideas for other videos. Maybe there's something else that you want to see that I'm not providing on this channel. Please don't be afraid to um, put that down in the comments below if you want to see any other um you know any other videos or me make anything i'm also going to do a makeup tutorial one. Oh, wait a minute speaking of which i almost forgot we are going to open this package this package is not by killstar and um i don't remember where this was from and it doesn't say anything okay well it doesn't say anything but maybe inside it will I forgot about this, guys. Sorry. Here I am waiting to end the video when I don't even have all my shit and <laughs> covered here. Okay. We're going to take these out. Ooh, look what I got, guys. Um, this was something I was just playing around with because normally... I don't have very many makeup brushes, and this was just like a cheap set. So I want to see how these work. And I don't even really, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not really into much of makeup like I used to be. I used to be in, into makeup, but we never had this many brushes. As growing up, I never had this many brushes ever for makeup. I'm wondering how these brushes make a difference and if they even do make a difference because I'm not, I'm not a makeup, you know, person or whatever, but I'd really like to, I'd really like to know, like, you know, if they make a difference and what brush goes with what is, I was hoping they'd give me some instructions because, you know, I'm kind of curious. Um, this will be my first makeup tutorial, so that stay tuned for that. And these brushes, by the way, I think there's like 20 or something, or 15. It came with 15 or 20. And I got these from eBay, by the way. So if you guys are interested in these brushes, they're on eBay. And they're just some cheap brushes. But they are unicorn horns. I don't know if you guys can see that, but isn't that cool? I thought those were cool. They have other ones as well, like mermaids and all kinds of different ones. But I love unicorns, so I kind of had to have these. <laughs> but they're a cheap set. They weren't that expensive. Um, and I didn't have to pay for shipping or anything. It was free shipping. I'm just curious on how all of these brushes make a difference and what they're all used for because I'm not really sure. I'm not like a makeup whatever. And I'm sure you guys will probably, since I don't know what the hell I'm really doing when I put on makeup or whatever, may, you guys might just be, you know, cringing, going, that brush isn't for that. Okay. If you do tell me what the brush is for because I'm using it wrong, please be nice about it. Don't be a jerk. Don't be a bitch about it. Just, you know, leave the comments down below and, you know, just be nice about it because really I'm, you know, this, I'm just trying these out for fun and it's supposed to be a fun video. So, you know, I don't really know what the heck all of these are for because like I said, when I was a child or a teenager, we didn't have all these damn brushes for stuff. And as an adult, I don't have, I don't, I didn't have up to this point this many brushes. So please, you know, be nice about it. If you guys are going to correct me, please be nice. That's all I ask. I am going to set all these in, back in here. Um, I did get a palette of makeup too that I've had laying around. So I will be using a brand new palette of makeup. For that tutorial and I don't know when I'll do the tutorial um, I don't know but this video will be up soon and then you'll get to see that but please in the comments below please like if you have any suggestions of like new videos I can make or something please leave them in the comments below also 
If you haven't already, please like and comment and subscribe to my channel. It would just be, it would mean the world to me. And I thank everyone from the bottom of my heart that has subscribed to this channel, that has stuck around. I know I haven't done, you know, as many videos as I should. And also, I should say this now, my channel is, has turned a year old, probably on, I believe I started it around this time last year. So, happy birthday to Jennifer Slayer. Woo! <laughs> right around my birthday, too. So, that was, that's cool. Um, I'm going to try very hard to do more videos, more uh, different variety of videos. Because, like I said, I can't always do hauls. So, and I don't want my, I never wanted this channel to be all these hauls, you know. I want to do something else different. Like I want to do like maybe a witchy video or something. If you guys are interested in witchy stuff, let me know. I'm, I'm still learning. So it's not like, you know, I know everything. And if you guys want to learn more about tarot cards, maybe we could do a tarot card thing. Um, I could show you how to do things like that. And I was going to do that during Halloween time. But like I said, I got depressed. And when you're depressed, do you think it's going to be a good thing to, you know, do a tarot reading? Uh, I don't think so. I wouldn't have been able to concentrate on what I needed to get done for that. So for that, I'm sorry for like making all these promises and these videos that I was going to make because... And next year, we will be making more, I mean, 2020, I will be making more around Halloween time of what some of the things that I said I was going to make this year and never followed through. So it's just that depression, it's a bitch. And it's, it's doesn't you, sometimes you, it just drains you, you know, of all your energy. It just drains the hell out of you. And I can't stress enough, it's hard to pull yourself out of a big black hole. Because I was in a lot of, I was just in a lot of like, you know, pain as far as, you know, mentally, I was just in a lot of pain. I would put a smile on my face, I'd go about my day, but, and I would do things and I would clean the house and stuff, but it would drain me of all the energy that I had. I was taking a lot of naps and sleeping a lot. And just staying to myself and, you know, doing what I had to do so to get through it. So um, I'm back and um, I'm feeling a, little, a lot better now. And I'm looking forward to springtime <laughs> so I can go outside and maybe show you my garden because I said I would. And I want it this year. I'm kind of hoping. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but I need to rip out some stuff in the front and then maybe put some more stuff in so that's a video i might be doing too um i will show you all my lilies when they when they finally come up i believe that they will start coming up in july and go all the way till september because i've got so many different varieties of lilies i love lilies they're one of my favorite flowers along with roses which i don't have any rose bushes but man, I would love to have some rose bushes. But I want to plant some stuff in the front yard. Like I want to get some irises, maybe some daffodils or something. I want to do like some sage and lavender and stuff. Because mosquitoes, they don't like lavender or sage. So if you plant that around your house, chances are they aren't going to be so bad. And so you can enjoy outside a little bit more. And also, a tip for you, if you're burning, like, you know, if you have a fire outside, put some sage in that fire and, you know, just little pieces here and there. And I've heard that that keeps them away. So that's a tip I may be using for Halloween because I have big plans for 2020 for Halloween. If you haven't yet, please go back and watch my video, the one before this one, because all the plans are right there and um and i want you guys to just you know watch it and like listen to the plans and stuff it it's a good thing trust me it's making me get through this 
dark place or will it help me get through the dark place so please go back and watch that video um it's awesome and i hope you guys are all having an awesome day wherever you are and i hope night or day i should say wherever you are <laughs> and i hope that you guys will subscribe to my channel and i'm very sorry that i've been gone but i am back and i'm hoping to do some videos i don't know how i'm gonna do it yet like if I'm going to do one video a week like I was or I'm going to do a couple videos a week. It just depends on how much material I have to work with, which right now I feel like I have quite a quite a bit of material to work with. So we'll see how long it takes uh, to get things going again for me and, you know, figure it out. I would love to do more videos and stuff, but I also have to have the time to do it and the energy and things. Um, I get busy around here, so it gets kind of tough. And then when you have like uh, people coming in and out of the house, you, you get all that noise and stuff. Tonight, I've got the house to myself. Also, the people who are in the winter storm, because we are going to get one, I hope you guys stay safe. It's coming tomorrow, which is Thursday the 17th, I believe. Actually, it's today. Well, it will be today. My clock is still set at the normal time at 1236, and it's actually 1136 at night. Um, I probably will be doing a lot of videos more so at night than during the day. So, um, so stay tuned if you want to see what's in this box. And please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Please support my channel. Um, I'm trying to make it big, but I'm not sure how to market myself. I don't know what's all going to happen, but please, please, please. I can't, I can't stress enough and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. If you just subscribe, like, and comment, um, please leave me messages or comments down below on what you would like to see on this channel and please uh if you have any questions for me if i can answer them i will um just leave them at the bottom in the comments and i'll try my best to uh make it happen so but anyways i guess i'll talk to you guys later i'm sorry i'm rambling but i'm just so excited to be back it just feels so good and i love doing videos for you guys so i'm hoping that the depression will stay away because i am not taking anything for it i refuse to do that because last time i was such a mess i slept like over a long time and it makes me, it just makes me spacey and stuff. And it just, I don't feel the same. I don't feel right taking medication. So with that being said, I will talk to you soon. And I'm so excited I'm back. And I've got some good stuff for you guys to watch and stuff like that. So I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>